Lord Whitehill is in a lather. Yes, I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. I was clear. You said you were the Lord. Now prove it. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. My father died a hero. Fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Aye, and look where that got him. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck. That's how you talk to a lord. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries, you cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Jetzt bin ich mal gespannt. Ach, der Sackgesicht. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. He was defending his family as any man would. But your men murdered them all. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me. Who's the one who did it? You heard me. He was sent to the wall. It's done. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. Ah, jetzt gerade einknickt. This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad. Maybe Lord of this house. 
But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to oh, see yeah. you oh, Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Alles klar, ähm... Ja! Puh! Harte Nummer. Aber ich denke, wir haben uns relativ gut geschlagen. Ich bin mir da nicht ganz sicher, aber... It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Oh, das ist doch schon mal gut. Sie gibt uns... Persönliche Gegenstände. Was steht drauf? Walla Mogulis? Read. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Yeah. Ich glaube, sie ist noch nicht ganz auf den neuesten Stand. Das ist die old time uh, Tome. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Hm. I hope to see them all someday. Vielleicht, vielleicht. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Auf jeden Fall kälter. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Who knocks on the door? Ja, One moment. sehr gut. Na, wer ist es denn? Oh, sorry, my lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Hm. Was ist das denn für ein Haus? Ein Aussehen. Ach, das ist auch so einer von diesen komischen kleinen Dienstboten, die hier irgendetwas austauschen. Begging your pardon, my lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. <laughs> Is this one of the spion? From either from Belish? You can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Or the spinner, Varus. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong. But 
It seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? <laughs> they appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. House Forrester? I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Wer hat ihn gesendet? Das war keine Idee von ihm. Wahrscheinlich war es. Das, das kann man doch keiner erzählen. Oh, sehr passend getroffen. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Sie ist bereits informiert. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei oh, yeah. herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Uh -oh. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but... She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Ah, oh, das kann ich eigentlich nicht. Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Was ist, wenn ich sie Schlampe nenne? Hoffentlich gibt's die Option. Ah, bitte, bitte, ich tu das. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Ah, nein, das kann ich eigentlich nicht. Good luck. Hm. Gute Miene zum bösen Spiel. Wenn ich aber trotzdem die Option kriege, dass ich sie Schlampe nennen kann, tue ich's. Das ist alles andere. Ah, oh, ist das Tyrion? Ist das Tyrion? You can do this. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? No. Oh. Lord Tyrion, Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. I am honored, Your Grace. Hmm. Yet not honored enough to kneel, I see. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. 
Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, your grace. Hmm. And yet... For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Yes, your grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. I take it this is the kind of loyalty the King can expect from you. If you have any loyalty at all. Oh, money. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Roose Bolton also served the Starks, your grace. And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. Uh oh. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? She was just following her heart, Your Grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she would- Let the would... girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. <laughs> My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Oh, oh. Ich weiß nicht unbedingt, ob ich das jetzt gut hinbekommen habe. Kann ich jetzt nicht noch ein bisschen mit Tyrion sprechen? Das finde ich wesentlich interessanter. Ich werde dich Das mag als eine Überraschung kommen, aber ich habe deinen Vater einmal auf der Tournee in Lannisport getroffen. Selbst dann hat er nicht Drus Bolton nicht vertraut. Wir haben nur kurz gesprochen, aber dein Vater hat mich als einen honorablen Mann gesehen. Du hast meine Kondolenzen für seine Verlust. Das wären schwierige Zeiten für deine Familie, selbst unter den besten Zirkumstanzen. Danke, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. 
Hmm. No doubt Lady Marjorie will forgive you. Eventually. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. <laughs> we must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three ah. beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Er ist also schon mit Sansa verheiratet. Hey. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah! <laughs> what? It's true. <laughs> And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. He is quite handsome and quite passionate, <laughs> from what I've heard. Perhaps oh, yeah. Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although marrying a king. I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well, which is more than you can say for his mother. I don't want to be queen no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen, you northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, <laughs> I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> What a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Oh oh, he hört sich nicht gerade erfreut an. Well... Sarah? We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mirror. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once I know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Mm. 
Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my lady. There's Just been important. something on my mind. Something important. Ich frag sie um Hilfe. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Ah, oh, da bin ich mir nicht sicher. It's about my family. I trust her. Go on. Ask. I received a letter from my family. I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown... Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. That is no small request. Especially now. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Uh -huh. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. My mother feels it is urgent, my lady. She's unfamiliar with King's Landing and its politics. I hope you can understand that. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. 